Hello everyone, today we are going to be unboxing another Barbie fashion. Today this fashion is from 1984. So here we have one of Barbie's spectacular fashions. So this was a line of fashions which had multiple mix and match pieces and you could create all different looks with the pieces. This one was my favourite um, from the collection. I just think it's very Barbie and I love the 80s jacket with the puffy sleeves and such. But I do quite like some of the other fashions as well. So before we unbox this, I'm just going to take you through the box. So we have like one of those little holes to hang it up on a display or whatever. It says Barbie Spectacular Fashions Mix and Match Six Pieces. Then we have illustrations of Barbie all around the window, which has the actual fashion showing. So these are just some of the ways that you can style the fashion. Um, I do believe you can actually style it in other ways as well. That's not all of the ways you can style it. It's being modelled by, I believe, Crystal Barbie. But they do have different looks, so I think that maybe there were different um, years of manufacture or from different countries of manufacture. So we do have the Mattel logo down the bottom as per usual. The product number is 9146. On the edges it just says over and over again Barbie Spectacular Fashions. I believe it was purchased originally from Toys R Us because it, it doesn't say Toys R Us but it says our new price um, and it was originally $5.96 and I'm telling you now I did not pay that for this. So here are just some of the other fashions that were available. I'll try and shadow that a bit. And then this one here, which is quite cute with the fur and all that. But I really like this one, especially with like the parachute pants and such. It's quite interesting, very unusual type of skirt, which doubles as a cape. And then down the bottom there, we have some information, a barcode. It says, contents, jacket top, long skirt, short skirt, overskirt, peplum, peplum and shoes. And then it says, look for the label so you know they're genuine Barbie fashions. And as I said, copyrighted 1984, made in China. So we're just going to unbox it. So you just pull the tabs from the centre part. As you can see, it's been torn. Ta-da! So as you can see, the packaging is completely oversized. It didn't does not need to be that large, but obviously it looks nicer in the large packaging. So we have all the pieces sewn onto this one piece of purple card. Um, I really love the color of this. I did expect it to be more pink, but in person it's more of a sort of, would you call that burgundy or maroon sort of colour? It's brownish, reddish, pink colour. And this is like a sort of purplish grape colour. And we have some shoes. So I'm just going to pull this all off. So I usually just break the string in one area and then pull it all off. Like so, so I've broken the string. Just pull, 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 
pull, pull, pull. The string is getting long now. Pull, 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 pull. Oh, the pieces are falling off. Pull. 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 And we'll have to try and break that piece off as well. Oh, we don't need to do that because it was just holding on the shoes. So you can just rip those off. Okay. So to model this fashion today, we have um, Italian Barbie. I've removed her jewelry just to make it easier to take the clothes on and off without damaging them. So first we're just going to pop the top on. So they do close in the back with snaps rather than velcro. And it's just like a tinsely type fabric. It is fraying at the head like at the hem, but I guess if you take good care of it, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. And the skirt is elasticated at the waist, and the elastic has held up quite well. So we'll just slip that up and over. Oh, finally. So the top does have a tendency to slip down, which is annoying. So there it is, the top and the skirt. So I did want to style it like this, just this, without the peplum, but it seems the the like um, elasticated waist on the skirt isn't very nice looking so we'll pop the peplum on so I'm not crazy about this look I don't like the peplum at all but then I don't like the elasticated skirt so I guess we'll try another look see I kind of like the peplum as a collar I think that's quite cool and I can actually forgive the um, elasticated waist with this look. I know the collar just, the peplum as a collar just seems to kind of balance it out. I don't know, see? So on the box this is a peplum but you can use it really as whatever you'd like and to create all different kind of looks. I guess you could even use it as a hat or Nah, it doesn't really work as a hat. But you could give it a go if you end up getting this set. And so this skirt isn't elasticated. It has a snap just like the top does. So there she is in the skirt and top. There we have the jacket. So the fit isn't amazing. Around the waist it's quite loose. And it does tend to like slip off the shoulders shoulders but despite the make of these items I think the designs are really great and I love the detail of like that collar being overturned with like the same fabric as the top you could even probably leave the top off this part of the outfit and have multiple dolls wear the outfits in different ways so like you can have a doll wearing the top with the glittery skirt and then a doll just wearing the jacket with the skirt here. And so it is a, like a tricot, sheer tricot fabric with printed glitter pattern on it. And as I just said, you tie it in the back. I'm sure you could use this as like a cape or a veil if you wanted to make it like a really funky wedding outfit. The skirt is like a, just a plain weave 
synthetic material like a polyester. It's the kind of fabric you'd find a lot of things in camping stores made out of. Um, and I'll just show you the shoes. So the shoes are the like early 80s pumps, not the wide toe, but the skinny pumps. And they are in a pink color with silver glitter embedded in them. As you can see, you do need to squish her foot into them. And the toes don't really lay flat. They kind of point downwards. Shoes, skirt, top, peplum, or collar, skirt, another skirt, and a jacket. All either using ties or snaps. So I think this is my favorite way of styling the fashion. So we have the skirt, the top, and then we have the peplum and the belt, um, what do they call it? Overskirt as a sort of cape, which I love. It's sort of, it's very 80s, quite De La Renta in my opinion, and sort of space age like, very um, astronaut Barbie. Astronaut Barbie. So this outfit sort of is reminiscent of um, outfits that came with dolls such as Pretty Changes Barbie in 1978, I believe, and Golden Dream Barbie in 1980 or 81. I can't remember. I think it's 1980. And then Pink and Pretty Barbie, and these dolls would come with outfits with multiple pieces that you could change to create different looks. But this was a fashion on its own, which I really love. So you didn't need to actually buy a doll to get this fashion. You could use it on any of your existing dolls, which really is what Barbie's all about. You get one doll and then she's your doll. She's your Barbie and she then will wear fashions that you buy separately, which is what Barbie started out as. But by this time, it had become sort of more doll focused rather than fashion focused. So that is all for this review. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.